watching the news on TVC News Nigeria. Now joining us on the news is Ado Dogua, an APC member of the House of Representatives. Thank you for joining us, Honorable Dogua. First things first, Honorable, are you still a member of the Loyalist Group? Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, my sister. My I want, to, I want to confirm to you that I'm still a peaceful, peaceful member of the Loyalist Group. All right, sir. Now, surely you're satisfied with the sharing offer made by the Speaker, which names you as House Leader. What? Can I come again? You are satisfied by the sharing offer made by Speaker Dogara, which names you as House Leader. Absolutely, I'm very much satisfied. I'm comfortable with that arrangement based on the arguments uh, advanced by the Honorable Speaker, Yakubu Dogara. Now, you are a good ally of Honorable Bajabia Mila. At what point did things begin to fall apart? Or please explain your relationship with him at this point now because his camp is disagreeing with this offer that you appear satisfied with. Yes, in the first place, I would like you to see me as somebody from, coming from the background of my, my own constituency, my own state. Primarily, that is my identity in the House of Representatives. So my own relationship, political or otherwise, to Honorable Pemi Bajabia Mila is only secondary. Okay. So at this point, you're prepared... And for the avoidance of doubt, I would like it across that Nigerians should know that in the first place... My relationship with Femi Bajabia Mila under the Loyalist Group was not about Bajabia Mila as a person. It was about the position of my own political party that suggested Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila to run for the speakership. And as a loyal member of the party, I felt I should follow suit and uh, make sure that uh, uh, has worked. Oh, so things have fallen apart now that you have been offered a position as House Leader. You are no longer... In good terms, perhaps at the moment, with Honorable Bajabia Mila. No, I very much disagree with that because Femi, in the, in, like I've said, has been a good friend of mine after being in relationship under that political arrangement. Virtually, I speak with Femi every, every 24 hours. Even this morning, I've spoken with him as a friend. We have also exchanged ideas and views based on the nature I see this crisis and based on the nature he looks at it. And my view... My view has always been consistently about the position of the party. Remember, like I've said, I was with Bajabia Mila and I was fighting Dogara because he defied the position of the party to, be, to become the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Honorable, Honorable, Honorable Dogua. And at a point, precisely on the, on the third day of July 2015, the party held a neck meeting. This neck meeting is the is the highest decision making body under the under the, our party the APC honorable dogua the offer well, made, made to you at this point which names you as house minority leader by the speak by dogara group is more important to you now than your friendship with bajabia mila the offer made to you by dogara naming you as house leader currently is more important to you than your friendship with Bajabia Mila? No, what is more important for audience to understand is that the party has conceded to, Baja, to Dogara at a time when they accepted him as a legitimate son of the party. On that day, on the third day of June, July, where Dogara was accept, accepted and recognized by the party, where Mr. President also stood in his speech and recognize Dogara is the Speaker of the House of Representatives. For me, I should not have any problem anymore with Honorable Dogara because that was the platform of my disagreement with him. My own political party has accepted him. My own political party has pardoned him. Then I have no cause or basis whatsoever to continue to fight him. Honorable Dogara, you still didn't answer my question. Anyway, but people have argued that Dogara's equity team is a contravention of the House rules. On equity fairness and justice, and it has not contradicted the provisions of our rules, nor, neither does it contradict the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All right. Now, if at the end the Southwest has only one representative among 10 presiding principal officers, 
Wouldn't that amount to marginalization? It will only amount to marginalization if one zone takes more than one position, like what is being contemplated by the letter purportedly signed by the chairman of the political party. Now, talking about federal character, how do we juxtapose the emergence of the Senate president and speaker of the House of Representatives who are both from the North? Oh, that, that, that may be a different perspective. What you must understand, madam, is the fact that in politics, what is only permanent is the interest. But associations, partnership, friendship, and whatever under political arrangement is not a permanent thing. What is, what is important to us is our interest, and what is important to us is the, the permanence of our own interest. And I want to assure you that this arrangement has accommodated our interest, and we will go ahead with this arrangement. It has also gone in line with the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is also in tandem with the provisions of the rules of the House of Representatives. Mm. And that is the most important thing for now. Mm. Now, Honorable Dogara, what, Dogua rather, what is important to you at this point? Is it party supremacy or what uh, the Speaker Dogara is offering? What? Do you believe in party supremacy as against uh, the equity team of uh, Speaker Dogara? You see, when you are talking of party supremacy, as far as I'm concerned, it is a subjective thing. It's very subjective. What you may think is supremacy of the party may not be the same to me. And I want to believe, no matter how supreme the party is, the provision of our rules, the provision in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria should be seen to be, to be, to be supremer, to be supremer than the, than the position of the party. We have to respect the provisions of our laws in the Constitution and the provisions of our laws in the House of Representatives. That I have no doubt about that. Honorable Dogua, it's if you weren't offered the position of House leader in uh, uh, Speaker Dogara's uh, uh, offer, would you be singing a different tune? Come again, please. If you weren't made the offer of minority leader in uh, Honorable Speaker Dogara's uh, arrangement, would you be saying something different? Would your position be different? Madam, I don't have to say something different. This is a utopian. You are making a proposition, and I don't want to work with a proposition. We are facing reality on ground, and every other person must look at it as such. I want to urge my members of the loyalist group to come and look at this thing from the realistic point of view. We must have to come and face our legislative responsibilities and move ahead. What we are doing in the House of Representatives is not about an individual. It's not about Femi Bajabia Mila alone. It's not about Ado alone. If Femi Bajabia Mila accepts us as a group, he should now believe in me as a member of that group. If, for instance, you want to take something by your right-hand side and the person giving it to you decides to give you by the left-hand side, you take it. Mm. So you have decided to take what yours. Is getting that thing in your fork. So you have decided to take yours, Honorable Dogua. Yes. Yes, you have taken yours. Now, uh, people are wondering that uh, this crisis in the House of Representatives that has gone on for nearly two months now, is it about your interests or is it about the people? Surely you're representing the people. Absolutely, whatever we are doing in the House of Representatives is fundamentally in the lie in the interest of our electorates. Because you must have to have elect you must have to elect your leaders before you move to the next stage to begin to face your elect your legislative responsibility. What we are doing may sound may look funny. What we are doing may sound selfish, but it is also what has formed the fundamental basis of our operation as members of the House of Representatives. You cannot continue to face your legislative responsibilities until you have your principal officers on ground. And those principal officers must be elected on the basis of the rule of law. They must be justified. They must reflect fairness. They must also be in tandem with justice so that every part of the country is represented. And lastly, Honorable Dogua, what should Nigerians expect from your meeting with the president later today? The president is the leader of the party. He's the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Each and every one of us respects Mr. President. 
especially those of us that are from his own geopolitical zone. We have tremendous respect for the, for the president, and I want to tell you that we, we, shall be, we shall be there in his meeting. We will all be honor his meeting, and I will, I will certainly tell you that Mr. President will take, that, will take his advisory position, just like he has already confessed to the, to the world that he will not interfere with the businesses of the legislature. I believe whatever discussions we are going to make with Mr. President is going to be in, light, in, in line with his initial disposition. We want to thank you very much. He said uh, he will not interfere with the legislature, and that is an excellent disposition of the executive arm of government. We want to thank you very much. I've been speaking with Honorable Ado Doguwa, a member of the House of Representatives, who maintains that he is still a member of the Loyalist Group, but is accepting the offer of Speaker uh, Dugara, which names uh, himself along with two other members in the uh, principal offices of the House of Representatives. Moving ahead now, TVC News has won another award as the best innovative television station of the year in the 2015 Innovation Award.